this video, we will see how to bring data from different file formats into Alter Monarch Data Prep Studio. Data may be loaded from the Start, Preview, or Prepare screens. Files may easily be dragged in, as we see for this Excel file. Depending on the file format, different windows may appear. For Excel worksheets, we have the option to either open the file in worksheet design mode for capturing non-tabular data, or open it as a database in Excel Explorer. Using the Excel Explorer, you can specify which table to open and then load or preview the data. Clicking on Preview brings us to an interface where you can review and check the quality of the data. Let's now bring in a structured text file, such as this comma-separated file. The data source is automatically brought into Preview where we may also review the CSV file's contents. Now if we bring in an unstructured file, such as a text or PDF report like this, we are brought to Report Design where we can create a model that will trap whatever data is needed from the report. Data Prep Studio has an auto-define feature which enables you to automatically define traps and fields to extract data from the document. Data from the report are now transformed into rows and columns as we see below. This table is now easily brought into the prepare interface, ready for data prep and transformation. Notice as well that the Transform, Combine, Analyze, and Export buttons are now enabled as we have data loaded in the Prepare screen. Now this time, let's have a look at how we can bring in data using the Open Data button. Here, you can access data sources such as Monarch files, PDF and text files, spreadsheets, databases, applications, big data sources, and even the web. More data sources are available from the library, where we see data prep macros as well. Let's try a few more data sources. Data Prep Studio's PDF Table Extractor allows you to work with table data found in text-heavy reports such as this. You can choose to get table data from the current page, a page range, or the entire report. The resulting data tables may then be loaded into the prepare window, as with our data from the previous report. Now notice this add button that behaves like the open data button in the start page. This is available from the preview window as well. As our last example, let's try a SQL Server database. Simply authenticate to a server that you have rights to. Fetch the databases available on the server and choose one you're interested in. Next, load the database tables and choose a table. Click OK and the table is loaded into the preview window. You can review the data here. and then go ahead and load the table into Prepare. It is also possible to make changes to this connection dynamically by going into Edit Table Info. For example, you can choose specific columns to include, and even directly modify the SQL query.